in this class, we are going to discuss about what is spermatogenesis. Spermatogenesis, the name itself tells us about what it is. Spermato, it refers to spermatozoa or mature sperms. Genesis refers to formation. That is formation of sperms. Mature spermatozoa or sperms is called spermatogenesis. And uh, it's uh, quite understandable that spermatogenesis, it, it is with reference to male reproductive system because male reproductive organs are the ones which produce sperms. So this occurs in the male reproductive organ. We'll discuss now where exactly in the male reproductive system this process occurs. So <clears throat> spermatogenesis, uh, as I explained already, it's the process of formation of mature spermatozoa or sperms. So this occurs particularly in the seminiferous tubule of the testis. So it is the place we already discussed. Seminiferous tubule is the place or the site where spermatogenesis occurs. So spermatogenesis, where does it take place? It occurs in the seminiferous tubule of the testis. So you can look at this picture and this is the diagrammatic representation uh, showing the section of the seminiferous tubule. Here you can uh, understand there are uh, many stages, developmental stages of the spermatogonia. Okay, we will discuss about what are uh, uh, the spermatogonia and uh, when does this process of spermatogenesis start and all that in this uh, slide. Okay, so when does it start? The process of spermatogenesis, it starts at the early embryonic stage. Understand that like any other organ system in the body, reproductive system also starts with its physiological functions. So the process starts at the early embryonic stage. During this stage, what happens? During embryonic stage itself, the process of spermatogenesis starts. Okay, so when it starts, what are the changes that happen? That is, during early embryonic stage itself, there are some special cells called primordial germ cells. These primordial germ cells actually are going to become sperms. So they are called as the ancestors of sperms. During early embryonic stage, there are some special cells called primordial germ cells, which are unspecialized or undifferentiated cells. They move or migrate into the testis. And testis also, they, when the migration occurs, these primordial germ cells migrate through the nerve cells of the seminiferous tubule. Nerve cells are the Sertoli cells, which are the special cells present in the seminiferous tubules, which are present in the testis. So the primordial germ cells, which are the ancestors of sperms, migrate or move it into the testis through the nerve cells or the Sertoli cells of the seminiferous tubules. Now they become mature. They become enlarged also to form spermatogonia or sperm mother cells. Okay, so these are the changes that occur in the early embryonic stage. So next to what happens, what further changes that happen to this spermatogonia? Spermatogonia after puberty only, only at the time of puberty or at the time of maturity, the spermatogonia, it undergo further changes. That is, it undergo mitosis. Spermatogonia undergo mitosis. Spermatogonium, it refers to singular one. Spermatogonia, it refers to plural form. So spermatogonia undergo mitosis, which starts at the time of puberty, and it continues throughout the life. And this is the picture, diagrammatic representation. It shows this section of the seminiferous tubule. And in the center of the tubule, it is the space or the cavity, which is called this lumen. Lumen or the cavity of the seminiferous tubule. Apart from it, you can see there are uh, different developmental stages of the uh, spermatogonia. Okay, so spermatogonia, which undergo number of uh, stages. That is, uh, you can see here in the picture, no cells or the sertoli cells are present and the dividing spermatocytes and spermatids. Okay, even other uh, 
tissues or cells are also present in this uh, picture. We will discuss now what are the stages of spermatogenesis. So let me uh, repeat the points. So spermatogenesis is the uh, process where sperms are formed. Our mature spermatozoa or sperms are formed. So before that, the spermatogenesis, it starts at the early embryonic stage. We learned and dis dis discussed in detail. So the spermatogonia uh, develop at the time of puberty. That is the further changes or the division occurs at the time of puberty. So spermatogonia undergo mitosis at the time of puberty. After that, we'll discuss now what are the stages that occur that is starting from spermatogonia. So this is the stages. So what are the changes the spermatogonia undergo? Okay, so first the spermatogonia, it undergo mitosis. In spermatogonia, the number of chromosomes will be 46, but 23 is. We very well understand that human cells have 46 chromosomes or 23 pairs of chromosomes. But it is not uh, with reference to uh, reproductive cells, that is the gametes, that is sperms and ova. They have only a high number of chromosomes, that is 23, only half the number of chromosomes that are present in uh, body cells. So the spermatogonia is also having 46 chromosomes or 23 pairs of chromosomes. So now it undergo mitosis. So during mitosis, what happens is there will be no change in the number of chromosomes. So spermatogonia undergo mitosis. Now they are converted into primary spermatocytes. They are converted into primary spermatocyte. So site means cell. Spermato, it refers to sperm. Okay, that is the future sperms. Okay, they are called primary spermatocytes. Now these primary spermatocytes undergo meiosis one. Next division called meiosis one. So in meiosis one, uh, so we understand meiosis, it refers to the, uh, that is the division where the number of chromosomes is reduced to half. So the primary spermatocytes when undergo meiosis one, to produce secondary spermatocyte. What happens is uh, the number of chromosomes in the primary spermatocytes are reduced to half. So the secondary spermatocytes will have only 23 chromosomes. So number is reduced. Now the secondary spermatocytes undergo meiosis 2. Each secondary spermatocyte produces two spermatids. So the spermatids also have only half the number of chromosomes, that is 23. So this is the significance of meiosis in this process called spermatogenesis. So now uh, we'll, we shall discuss whatever we have explained now. So this is the diagrammatic representation to show the changes uh, that happen to spermatogonia. So here you can understand spermatogonia, which is deployed in nature, that is two year number of chromosomes. It undergo mitosis. So as a result of mitosis, it is now divided into a primary spermatocyte. Primary spermatocyte, it is formed as a result of mitosis. So it also retains the deployed chromosomes, that is two n number of chromosomes or 46 chromosomes. Now the primary spermatocyte undergoes meiosis one. So meiosis, it's the reduction division. So the number 46 chromosome, it is now reduced to half, that is 23 in secondary spermatocyte. Now the secondary spermatocyte, it divides into spermatids. Each secondary spermatocyte divides, that is undergoes meiosis to, to form haploid number of spermatids. So each one, each one forms two to two, two, two spermatids. These spermatids are not mature. Okay, spermatids are not mature. So by a process called spermiogenesis, the spermatids are converted into mature spermatozoa. So spermatids, which are produced as a result of meiosis two from secondary spermatocyte are not mature. So this immature spermatids are converted into mature spermatozoa by a process called spermiogenesis. So as a result or at the end of the spermatogenesis, four spermatids are produced from each spermatogonium. So we will discuss now what is spermiogenesis. This is uh, we discussed already, spermatids are transformed. Okay, the mature, not mature, that is immature spermatids are 
transformed into a mature spermatozoa or sperms. This process is called spermiogenesis, that is formation of the mature spermatozoa sperm, okay, or spermiogenesis is the formation. So spermatids are now converted into mature spermatozoa or sperms. Another term we come across in this topic, it is called spermiation. So what happens after the mature spermatozoa are produced? Finally, they are released into the human or the cavity of the seminiferous tubule, which is referred as spermiation. Okay, you should understand the difference between spermiogenesis and spermiation. Spermiogenesis refers to the conversion of the uh, spermatids, that is immature spermatids into mature spermatozoa or sperms, whereas spermiation, it refers to the release of sperms into human of the seminiferous table. Now, finally, uh, the mature spermatozoa are ready so that they are released into the uh, human or the cavity of the seminiferous table so that they can move on to vas difference. Okay, so this is the whole of the process of uh, spermatogenesis.